So the government runs out of money at the end of September, and we've known that for a year. And that is the money that was agreed to with Mitch McConnell and Nancy Pelosi as part of the massive omnibus that most conservatives and I think most regular folks opposed. And uh, we made a commitment in January as part of the speaker contest that we would not govern by having one up or down vote on every disparate agency of government through continuing resolutions or omnibus bills. You never get the type of specific review of anything when you do that. So McCarthy agreed to that. Here we are at the end of the month, and we've only passed one of the 12 like single-subject spending bills. And that's got a lot of people concerned. McCarthy initially said, well, what we really need to do is pass a continuing resolution again, which you know this country has been governed by continuing resolution or omnibus since the mid-90s. I know uh, omnibus is when you pack a bunch of things into one bill and then get someone, but what's a continuing resolution? A continuing resolution is however things are being funded right now, just fund them the same way next year with increases for you know inflation cost of living. So, so just keep doing the, everything the way it's always been done is the definition of a continuing resolution. I do not believe that is a serious and responsible way to govern. And I believe the reason we have a $32 trillion debt is because we have governed this way since the mid nineties. So uh, McCarthy wanted to do that and say, well, that'll just buy us time. And we'll just do a, a continuing resolution for a little bit, but don't worry after that, we'll really get our single subject spending bills in order. I've heard the same bullshit for seven years. I've been here and it's always the same rhythm. And so I got a group of conservatives together and we said, we will never vote up or down for every agency of government together ever again. We have to impose discipline on this process where there is programmatic analysis and review and a determination as to what's working and what's not working and the ability to actually isolate some of the most weaponized programs and excise them from the government budget strategy. This is not just a right wing idea to your point. Like when we were in the speaker contest fighting for this, no less than AOC went on Rachel Maddow and said what the Repu what the Freedom Caucus, what the conservatives are fighting for here would actually be good for everyone. On the Young Turks, people who loathe me and said they loathed me said, well, if you really think about it, these single subject bills could help us really evaluate our priorities as a nation. Uh, they Even the New York Times ran an opinion piece. Matt Gates is right about McCarthy breaking those commitments. So in Washington, people don't think you have to live up to your promises. They think you could just kind of bullshit your way through, oh, you make a promise, it's a few months later, you ignore it, you engage in some other power trading enterprise. But we got together and said, no, you have to keep your word. We're not voting for these. And then today, we had a little bit of a breakthrough. Uh, I just left a closed door meeting with some of the most moderate members from New York, some of the most conservative members from around the country, and they acknowledged that the votes do not exist to pass a continuing resolution. And they sat down and said, what are the first four single subject spending bills you'd like us to consider? <laughs> oh, wow. And we said, well, you know, if we're going into a shutdown, let's fund the DOD. And again, our appropriations bill has all the gating to keep money away from the gender reassignment surgeries and the DOD becoming an abortion travel agency and all the stuff that, that has been really problematic about the DOD. Second, the border. Our Department of Homeland Security funding bill that, that pays the TSA agents, that pays Customs and Border Patrol, that pays ICE. Third, uh, we want deep cuts to the Department of State and Foreign Ops. We think like an easy place to show good faith on deep cuts is foreign aid. Because if we're out of money, maybe we should give we should borrow less of it to give it to other countries. Um, and, and then the final one is the agriculture appropriations bill that, that we agreed to, to bring up in debate because there's so much waste in the food stamps program. There's so much opportunity for savings with work basic work requirements. And we think we can have deep cuts there. So if you get all that together, put it up, get it moving in single subject review, I think you can build real momentum. So the House uh, has a, really abandoned the McCarthy CR strategy today and has embraced the Matt Gates strategy of single subject spending bills. And that's not to my credit. That's to the credit of some of the moderates who I think wised up and said, well, if we're going to go into a shutdown, let's at least lay out what our priorities are. And by the way, it, it is divided government. So on those single subject bills, 
we're going to have to negotiate with Democrats. And, and I think, you know, that is the situation the voters have put us in, but at least we can cast a vision by passing our bills and then having, I, I think, uh, the best posture to negotiate with the Senate and the White House. So is, is, I, I, feel, I feel more productive today than I did yesterday when my sole goal was to kill governing by continuing resolution. I think we've got that pretty well buried six feet under for now.